Okay, so how to increase muscle mass for natural lifters, natural bodybuilders. It's gonna be so simple, so quick. And yeah, this is not gonna be that information I wanna give you that steroid you just give, saying, oh, it's all about the pump, it's all about how slow you go down, how you control the weights, all that bullshit. I wanna tell you through the research I've done through basically basing it off Lyle McDonald's article. Um, I'll attach a link in the description if I remember. <laughs> um, basically just, I've read what he is, he's um, wrote and I'm now just simplifying even more for, for you guys. So if you want, you can read it. But anyway, it's gonna make so much sense when I explain it right here. Okay, so the primary stimulus for muscle growth is progression tension overload. So a lot of you might have heard of progression overload, but it's progression tension overload. So it's gonna be very simple. What you need to do is increase your strength. There's the answer, bang. <laughs> so simple. Don't worry so much about the pump and I don't know what other shit you worry about, but <laughs> worry about getting strong in your compound lift, so your bench press, your squat, deadlift, and also some overhead presses, um, some rows, but mainly bench, squat, deadlift, I'd say. Get strong with those three, and then after you get strong with those three, you can do some slap, uh, supplementary work, so like dumbbell incline press, just your, your normal isolation movements, exercises. So for example, um, say you do uh, an upper split, upper lower split, on one knee, the upper body, you wanna focus on the bench press. So really increase your strength on the bench press. That's your main focus for the workout, right? Now, after you've increased your strength on your bench press in that workout, now we got into su supplementary work. Incline dumbbell press um, to the upper chest. Then we can do isolation movements, uh, tricep press down and stuff like that. So basically, power building. That's what I'm gonna call it. And that's what I think most people call it. And that's, if you don't know the split that I'm gonna follow for this bulk is power building, getting really strong. But the reason I'm saying get really strong to increase muscle mass so we think about this. When are you ever gonna see an uh, individual bench press 150 kg or 180 kg or something like quite heavy and they're gonna be really, really skinny with a small chest? That's not gonna happen. Plus, when you are going to the higher rep ranges, say eight to 12, then by the time, because you've increased your strength already, by that time you'll be able to handle a lot more weight at that 8 to 12 rep range. For example, say at the moment you're not focusing on increasing your strength on your bench. So you can bench 80 kg for uh, 8 to 12 reps. Now in the last past 6 months you've been really concentrating on your strength. You can bench about, um, let's say uh, 110 kg, maybe for 5 reps. Now you can go back to your bodybuilding work and you'll be able to handle about 100 kg for 8 to 12 reps. If you get what I'm trying to tell you right here. So you'll be, you'll be able to allow more tension on the muscle because you've increased your strength previously for a higher repetition range, so more volume. So in, when you increase your strength, you're able to hold a lot more volume while still pressing a lot of weight. And then that's one aspect of it to get bigger. So getting strong, number two, adding volume. Number three, eating in a caloric surplus and that should be it. You should be good to go, um, bulked up. <laughs> so yeah, this is so basic, but still a lot of people don't understand this and don't worry if you don't. And if you think I'm talking bullshit, I actually feel sorry for you. This is the truth, the honest truth. Please don't listen to these juiced up bodybuilders that are telling you to feel the contractions and all that bullshit and not worry about your strength. So yeah, if, if you actually think about it, most powerlifters, I know they're fat, um, and when they diet down, they look absolutely amazing. And really, really important point here. Most natural bodybuilders, 
that are going to be really big, look really good, are going to be the strongest. Trust me on that. Trust me. Obviously, genetics play a part, but that is really, really true. One more thing before you go. Also, when you try to increase muscle mass and you're eating in a caloric surplus, don't be afraid to gain some fat. Oh, this is really, really annoying. Most bodybuilders, well, I think, in my opinion, always try to stay lean year-round and they gain very little muscle. Don't be afraid to gain some fat. Mu gaining muscle is so much of a longer process than losing fat. You can lose fat in, say, two months, like 20 pounds or some stuff is stupid like that. Obviously, it depends how heavy you are now, but and your fat mass, but that's another another um, video. Anyway, um, just to summarize this video up, I know it's getting a bit too long, but increase your strength in your compounds lifts. That will allow you to add more volume later on while still um, in the same exercises while increasing the rep range, and then eat more. So don't worry about getting fat. I'm not saying get really fat, but don't be too, too conscious of staying lean all the time. Just accept it, enjoy the process. And I hope you enjoyed the video. And yeah, just stop listening to these stupid juiced up bodybuilders that are telling you this stupid information. But anyway, um, hope you enjoyed the video. Stay positive, stay smiling. And as always, I'll see you in the next one.